2023 is ending in a few days and looking back this year has been full of unforgettable dramas. It had its load of good dramas. From romantic comedies like King the Land, to thrillers like Taxi Driver, and much more. As the year is ending soon, here are the top 10 Korean TV highest rated K-dramas of 2023 so far. Number 10. Payback. Payback stands out for its refreshing approach, intricate storytelling, and the exploration of how far individuals are willing to go for their ideals. It is a gripping Korean drama that skillfully blends elements of law, corruption and revenge. This drama follows the revenge story of a group of people, including Yoon Yong, a money trader who refused to remain silent in the face of unjust authorities and fight against a cartel conspiring with the law. The ensemble cast, featuring Lee Sun Kyun, Moon Che Won, Kang Yu Seok, and Park Hoon, delivers exceptional performances. This business-based thriller brought in great ratings, both on its parent channel SBS, as well as its streaming service Amazon Prime, earning 11.4% and over 2 million viewers in its 11th episode. Number 9. Red Balloon. In the competitive world of Korean dramas, it takes a special kind of show to stand out. However, Red Balloon has managed to do just that, captivating audiences with its compelling storyline and talented cast. The series has consistently achieved impressive ratings, earning its place as the ninth highest rated Korean drama of 2023 with a nationwide rating of 11.6%. Red Balloon tells the story of four individuals from different walks of life whose lives become intertwined through their dreams, desires, and ambitions. Red Balloon tells the story of main character Jo Yoon Kang, played by Crash Landing on Yu Seo Jai Hai, and her circle of friends and relatives, who wish to fulfill their goals after having prior setbacks. Together, they find themselves entangled in multiple conflicts and affairs. Red Balloon is a must-watch for fans of Korean dramas and anyone who enjoys a good story about family, ambition, and betrayal. Number 8. The Good Bad Mother. Revolving around Young Soon, The Good Bad Mother shows how the single mom must raise her son Kang Ho with intense strictness so he wouldn't stray too much in life as she did. Kang Ho then grew into a cold-hearted adult prosecutor who detested his mother. One day, an unexpected accident caused Kang Ho to suffer from paralysis and amnesia. This accident also caused him to revert to a childlike state, which brought him back to his mother. As a result, they must start over again and begin a new life. The Good Bad Mother did very well in the ratings, considering it was broadcast during the week on Wednesday Thursday versus a more favorable weekend slot like the other dramas on this list. Lee Tu Hyun is a big reason for the show's reception, Coming off his The Glory performance, he is earning rave reviews for his multiple character performance. The drama finished at the 8th position for household viewing for cable dramas in 2023 with a 12.03% rating. Number 7. My Dearest. Set in the background of the 1600s during the Qing invasion, My Dearest presents the touching love story of Li Jiang Han, played by Nam Gu Min, and Yu Gil Che, played by An Yun Jin, this outstanding drama has captivated the viewers' hearts not only through the storyline, but also through various other aspects. From costumes, lighting, action, and post-production, My Dearest sets a new benchmark for upcoming historical drama with amazing appeal. My Dearest entered this list fairly with only its seventh episode. With 12.9% ratings, My Dearest has become one of the best Korean dramas with the highest ratings in 2023. Number 6. King the Land. From their initial not-so-good interactions to mushy encounters, and eventually falling in love, Lee Jun ho and Yunos chemistry had fans glued to their screens. This series was released in August and was spread across 16 episodes. Set against the backdrop of a luxury hotel, this narrative came as a dopamine boost for fans of romance. This addition to this list had everyone's hopes up in surpassing its time-slopped predecessor, Dr. Cha. Despite all the issues and Arab Prince controversy, King the Land has gained massive popularity as one of the best Korean dramas with the highest rating in 2023. While it was a ratings hit during its run, it finished just behind its forerunner, finishing at 21 top cable key dramas of all time, with a 13.8% household rating and 18th place for individual viewers with 3.4 million views. Number 5. Agency it's always intriguing to watch the supremacy of female executives. That is why Agency, starring Lee Bo Young and Sun Nat Yoon, climbed up to five of the best Korean dramas with the highest rating in 2023. 
The 16-episode drama centers on Go Ah In, a woman who rises from modest beginnings to the top of her field over 20 years, only to find her efforts undervalued by superiors. Agency keeps the audience engaged with a compelling script and intriguing characters. The series diving into the lives of female executives, soared in ratings. Lee Bo Young headlines this K-drama about a hardworking female executive in the advertising industry. This drama has shot up in the ratings, ending at 15 for households with a rating of 16.04% and at 14 for individual viewers with 3.6 million views. Number 4. Dr. Romantic. Just as in its previous seasons, there is no disappointment in the Dr. Romantic series. That is why it climbed to fourth place on this list. In season 3, Kim Sabu and his Doldum Hospital team continue their work to save the lives of patients. The old Doldum Hospital building is set to welcome a new connecting trauma center building that features the latest in medical equipment. The series once again depicted medical professionals' lives, captivating the viewers' hearts. Sequels of successful K-dramas make their appearance high in the ratings, and Dr. Romantic 3 certainly continues that streak. The third installment of the Romantic Dr. Teacher Kim series did quite well but fell significantly below its powerhouse predecessors. It ended with 16.8% for households, where Season 1 had 27.6% and Season 2 had 27.1%. Number 3. Crash Course in Romance Impressively reaching number three is Crash Course in Romance, starring Jeon Do Yoon and Jun Kyun Ho. The drama revolves around Nan Hang Sin, a former athlete and banshan shop owner with a vibrant personality. She unexpectedly enters the world of private education to assist her niece and forms an unlikely alliance with Choi Chi Yil, a demanding celebrity lecturer. This encounter then leads to a surprise romance. Crash Course in Romance often competed with agency for ratings, the two constantly toppling back and forth, week after week, its final episode brought in a rating of 17.03% for households, giving it an 11th place finish for cable dramas overall, and 9th for individual viewers, with 4.3 million views. Number 2. Dr. Cha Dr. Cha is about a woman, played by Ong Jung Hwa, who, after a scary experience, decides to pursue her dreams again, she left her medical career to be a housewife but returns to finish her training, facing challenges from her disapproving husband and critical mother-in-law. This K-drama tells a compelling story of overcoming obstacles and rediscovering ambition. With great performances, it's loved by viewers who enjoy stories about personal growth. It has romance, comedy, and some familiar elements, but it also reflects on life, dreams, and the impact of divorce on a family. The drama, spanning 16 episodes, achieved a high nationwide rating of 18.54%, ranking as the second highest rated of the year and seventh highest rated drama of all time. Number 1. Taxi Driver Season 2 With no surprise the thriller Taxi Driver 2 was the drama with the highest ratings this year, reaching over 20%. The first season of the drama was well-loved and its fans were back for season 2 with even more passion. The drama starring Lee Jae-hoon, Kim yui sung and Pyo Yejin revolves around Kim Doki's work as a deluxe taxi driver with his team at Rainbow Taxi Company, which offers a revenge call service to take revenge on behalf of crime victims. In season two, Kim Doo Ji and his Rainbow Taxi team embark on a mission to find a Korean teenager who disappeared in Vietnam. This mission leads him to uncover an international criminal ring running an online gambling site, trapping Koreans into slavery. Eventually, they began to unravel the mysteries behind all the cases that started the company in the first place. Season 2 started at 12.1% with its first episode and constantly increased until reaching 21% in its last episode. Which of these K-dramas are your favorites? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends.